What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Jay Snake Squad. We about to get into the cooking video to let y'all know what's up for this cooking video. Before I get into it, want to show y'all the new Lakers shorts. Go to Lake, uh, go to lo NBALockers.com. You can go ahead and get your NBA shorts right now for the season. I got my Lakers. Support my team, yo. Check it out. Shorts. Doing what I love. Go Lakers. Let's get it, man. Exciting. Exciting. Uh, I got the throwback Lakers shorts. They got from Bull, Chicago Bulls shorts, uh, Seattle Supersonics. They got all the throwback legend shorts. Go to NBALockers.com and get your shorts for the season. Kick it off. Let's get to the cooking video, man. Peace. Woo! We back at it again, YouTube. It's your boy. Just finished y'all showing the Lakers video shorts. I am back. So what's up? What's up? YouTube! It's your boy, Jay Snicker Squad, man. We back at it again in the kitchen. Your boy's back in the kitchen, man. I told y'all coming back with a cooking video. It's been a while. You're like, Jay, where you been? We missed the cooking. Shout out to my man E on the back round. Um, before we get this video started, I showed the guys beginning of this video, the Lakers shorts. That go to NBALockers.com. Purchase your NBA shorts for the season right now. It is amazing. They do great deals on NBA shorts. Got my Lakers. I'm ready to rock and roll for this NBA season. Are you? All right. And speaking of NBA, if you saw the cup video that's on the channel right now, stainless steel cup, I am drinking liquid IV. Got to stay hydrated before I go to the gym today. Um, this is my cup they made for me. And you see J Sneaker Squad on there. So if y'all want to purchase your cup right now, go ahead and watch the cup video and talk to my girl, Caitlin, Caitlin, and she'll go ahead and hook you up with your cup that you want. I know somebody special is getting theirs. Boo boo. And, <laughs> and then today, well, before we get to the um, um, today's cooking show, I want to talk to you guys about um, what we're going to do in the kitchen today. Now, what we're going to do in the kitchen today is um, I know you guys who use you guys who eat pizza thinking to yourself, well, if I'm healthy, trying to stay healthy, stay on a certain diet, I can't have bread in my diet, but I want to find a healthier way to eat pizza and still keep my body to where I need to be. If you're trying to gain weight, lose weight, whatever, it's up to you. I'm trying to gain muscle mass. So with me eating how I do, I don't eat a lot every day. I should, like as I should. But when I do eat portion meals, it's mainly just at night. Um, during the day, I nitpick here and there. But other than that, I drink a lot of water, a gallon of water every day, liquid IVs, uh, and pretty much stay what I need to do to hit the gym and put in workouts every day. Don't miss the day at the gym. That's pretty much it. But there's certain days where you want to have your cheat days and you go get a pizza and you're like, man, I had bread, a lot of bread. So I got to stay away from bread another certain weekend. Then you're like, well, what happened? I can't have bread no more. Today, I'm going to show you a healthier way to make a pizza and have a healthier way where you're using no bread in this crust or well, no bread in this pizza. And you're saying, Jay, are you crazy? No bread? What are you talking about? I'm about to show you the basic ingredients you need today to make that pizza. I'm going to show you how to do it, and we're going to do it together. So, Jay Sneaker Squad family, bear with your boy. We're about to get this. First thing you need is an apron, a towel to keep yourself clean, and whatever you got to do during the day, keep that on the side. We'll hold that right here. <laughs> First set, main ingredient you're going to need is foil. Foil and your pizza pan. Cover your pizza pan. Spray with some baking spray, and then you start to create your crust. These are our ingredients you're gonna need to make your healthy spinach, artichoke, mozzarella pizza. That's what we're going for today. But to do that, you need turkey, ground turkey, extra lean ground turkey. So what you can do with extra lean ground turkey, flatten it down, make your crust. Extra lean ground turkey, nothing. Turkey, Jay, what is it? It's healthier, okay? For your pizza sauce, we're not using pizza sauce. We're using pesto sauce. Pesto sauce with butter and garlic. Butter and garlic, your meat, your sauce is pesto sauce, okay? Also, you're gonna need mushrooms, do that. We're also gonna have mo fresh mozzarella. We gotta try to dice up later. Artichokes sun-dried tomatoes, baby spinach, mozzarella cheese, Italian cheese, Parmesan, and 
a little bit of Mexican blend cheese to add a little different flavor of cheeses. It's up to you how you want to create your pizza. These are my simple ingredients, healthier that I like to have on my, my pizza. We're going to show you how we bring it to life and bring it together and make a badass healthy pizza for you. So maintain it. Let's chill with your boy, Jessica Squad. We'll be back. All right, guys, we back in the kitchen. Uh, these are the ingredients you need to start off your crust, okay? First thing you need to do, baking spray. Wrap your pan with foil, like I said. You're gonna spray your pan, as you can see. Real quick, nothing fancy, nothing smancy, just get a good spray on it. Get a good coat. All right, next thing you're gonna do, is take your pan, you're gonna flatten it down. Now. I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer and we're gonna show you how we perform the crust, okay? Parmesan cheese, you need it. Garlic, you need it. And the butter. Now, when you take the garlic and Parmesan cheese, you're gonna melt it in a little cup, just like this, okay? Y'all can see, in a little cup, you melt your butter, garlic, and Parmesan in the cup, just like this, okay? Then, you're gonna take your meat, cut them open, and we're gonna form it on a pan. After that, I'll show y'all what's next. All right, guys, we're back here, different view. Here's your pan, here's your melted butter and garlic, and here's your um, your crust. But you wanna make sure, ground turkey actually, it's gonna be our crust. But you wanna make sure before you actually use your ground turkey in anything, first and foremost, before you do any of this, you wanna make sure your hands are washed. And I already did. I'll show you, I didn't show you guys on camera, but I did, so. <laughs> My hands, you wanna make sure your hands are always washed as you're doing food like this or cooking with food or raw products. So, very important. Okay, take these off. Make sure you get all your ground turkey. Now, we're gonna go ahead and form our pan. Make it on a pizza crust. So, you wanna make sure you flatten your dough, your ground turkey all around. Spread it as you do it and make sure you get everything. So that's what you want to do. As you make your crust. What are you doing here? I'm shooting a video, is so, you're making your crust. And you wanna make sure your meat is stuck together. So as you do it. It doesn't matter if it's not a circle, but it has to look something sort of round to a, a pizza crust. So it's trying to stay healthy. And there you go. Your pizza crust, ground turkey. So now, you wanna brush your butter garlic and parmesan cheese onto your crust. You can throw it on there and then literally brush it on. That's kind of a way of getting it seasoned, you know, cause you can put salt and pepper on it, whatever you like, but I'm making a real Italian one. So you butter your crust. This is a way of buttering your crust. Garlic, parmesan, butter, melted butter with garlic. And you sprayed your pan already and you buttered your meat. So this is how it's supposed to look. Now we put it in the oven for 350 degrees and then I'll see you guys from there. All right, guys, we back in the kitchen. Now we've got our pizza, ground turkey pizza crust with butter, garlic, Parmesan, and uh, on the flattened down on the surface and we have it in the oven with baking spray at 350 degrees. We're actually gonna go ahead now and get our sides that we're gonna pre-prep for our pizza. It's at 350 degrees. You might wanna leave it in there about 10, 20 minutes, but leave it in there mainly for 20 because it's ground turkey. It doesn't take that long. I'm in the oven at 350 degrees that hot. It cooks the ground turkey a lot faster and it's in a pan and you have it with baking spray. So it's cooking on both sides really quick and fast. So I would say recommend 20 minutes in there oven, not too long, but while those 20 minutes are going, you wanna get your sides ready and prep pretty quick. So. Mushrooms, you wanna wash our mushrooms. We're gonna go ahead and dice our onions and mushrooms. Chop up some baby spinach, dice our mozzarella. Make sure we got our artichokes and sun dried tomatoes ready. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. And then we're gonna get back to creating the pizza masterpiece. Bear with your boy, we're gonna get down on here, okay? 
All right, guys, we're back now. Sorry, you can't see my face. We're gonna do the, we got our special ingredients we're about to use for our pizza that's baking in the oven. You got your artichokes, artichokes, sun-dried tomatoes, diced onions, baby spinach, diced already, mushrooms, uh, and we had the onion already diced up there. I'm about to dice the mozzarella cheese that's left, and I'll do that on camera for you guys so you guys can see the mozzarella cheese we're about to dice up right now. And then we're about to, our pizza, crust, our, our ground turkey pizza crust has been cooking in the oven already. So we're trying to let that cook halfway. So when we bring it out, we're gonna put it in the pesto and go ahead and start making the pizza. So I wanna dice my mozzarella pieces that I'm gonna put on my pizza. I think all I need is one. I don't really need a lot more, but we'll see. I wanna try to see with what I'm gonna go. And I know you're thinking, jails are big pieces, but to make this pizza, that's what I like. I like my pizzas. My pizza's pretty big on my mozzarella. So I don't think I need any more. If I have more later, I'll save it for later. But dice mozzarella. Ready to go. We're gonna check on our crust right now. We'll be back, guys. Peace. All right, guys, it's your boy Jason Nick Squad. We're still back in the kitchen right now. Now that I already got my simple ingredients on the side already diced up, ready to rock and roll, now it's time to create and form our pizza. Now, I remind you, your garlic, your ground turkey garlic, garlic parmesan uh, crust has been in the oven for about 20 minutes by now. It should be cooking. You don't want it to cook all the way. So uh, now I'm gonna form, we're gonna form our pizza and then I'm gonna show you how we put it back in the oven and let it finish, cook, finish cooking off fully to form our great pizza. So right now, I'm gonna show you how we bring it to life. I'll be back. All right guys, we back. Now I'm about to show you how we're gonna form our pizza. This is how your crust should look. It's kind of thick, still kind of flimsy, but it's not really crust. It is ground turkey meat. You had your butter and garlic and parmesan already buttered on to your thing. Now you usually put your pizza sauce, but this is not pizza sauce. This is pesto sauce. So you gotta mix pesto, cause pesto is really oil and sauce and all that stuff. Pesto, you see, ground up pesto. And I love pesto and I want it to be good for when I make my pizza, cause it's gonna be my pizza sauce. So take some pesto, put it, on here and you want to spread it around on your ground turkey because it's going to be our pizza crust so just slightly spread it on make sure every part's coated because when you bite that meat it's going to give it flavor with the butter and garlic but at the same time too you're getting what you want on your food now i know you tell me jay where'd you find this recipe where you find this recipe i found it on healthy healthy living food Healthy Living's food, and you can go ahead and look it up. Healthy ways to make pizzas, and it's on there. And this is a way of using meat, though, instead of using bread, which is really bad bread. And this helps you stay how you want. Okay, now we got pesto, a little bit more. So I have pesto spread it all over my, my ground turkey crust. So it's gonna help my ground turkey crust um, and pesto, see? It's gonna help it stay um, how I want it to be. Now, here's where you go with some mozzarella cheese. You gotta have your mozzarella cheese. Now, it depends on you how you like your pizza. I love cheese. It's one thing that's bad for me though, but I love cheese. But I work it out, I work out every day, so it's really not a problem. But we're gonna make sure every part of this pizza gets covered. I'm saying you already got mozzarella, you're in fresh mozzarella again already on it. So where is this gonna be a cheesy pizza? You're gonna freak out like, well damn Jay, you got some cheese up on it. I know, but it's how that's why it's called healthy food because it's your choice how you want your pizza to come out. So you know, spread it all around. Make sure every part is covered. Boom, beautiful. Now we got our pizza covered with cheese. 
He ain't done yet. About to keep on going, get creative. Now, you see your pizza. What else would I like to add on my pizza? So I want some diced onions. So they're already diced. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of diced onions on my pizza. So make sure every part gets covered. Now, I'll be honest with you, when you're having onions, people, you might wanna, I brush my teeth four times a day, so y'all might wanna, if you're eating onions, please brush your teeth. <laughs> so you don't be like sitting there, whoo, talking to somebody later on, be like, oh, I had garlic, I had this, I had that, and now onions, foochies, man. You won't be foochies in. So, all right, onions on there. Now, we're gonna add fresh mozzarella, fresh diced mozzarella on my pizza. So, bam, bam, bam. I know you're sitting there telling me, Jay, a lot of pieces, but I'll show you how Jay's Snicker Squad comes with it, baby. Fresh mozzarella, bam, beautiful. Now, we're gonna add mushrooms. Mushrooms on our pizza. You're like, damn, Jay, mushrooms too? I want my pizza to be perte. Perte we love. Cause Jay Snicker, and I, when you put your mushrooms on your pizza, you want to uh, dice your mushrooms too. Oh well, uh, wash them. I already washed mine, so that's good. Um, here we go. And I still have mushrooms for later. Make an omelet for later. Omelet for later. Um, now, sun-dried tomatoes. My favorite. If you're a pizza guy, I love sun-dried tomatoes on my pizza. You're like, damn, Jay, sun-dried tomatoes too? That's how your boy gets down, baby. I do it healthiness. Well, trying to make it healthy. <laughs> you're all looking at me, those toppings are not healthy, bro. <laughs> trying my best, y'all. All right. I'm not done yet. We're gonna add some artichokes, fresh artichokes. I know you're looking at me, well, dang, Jay, he's bringing this shit to life. Try with me, bear with me, y'all. Bear with me, Sneaky Gang Squad. We gonna do this, but we gonna do this the right way. All right, artichokes. Now, last but not least, beautiful garnish with baby spinach. Get your greens in, baby. Get the greens in. Get them greens in. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And last but not least, a little bit of more Italian herb cheese. And then you should be done. And you still have ingredients left over for the next day. Use all of them. And if, in case if you ever want to make another pizza or something, you have fresh ingredients. So let me go ahead and open this up. Damn, baby. Hoo -hoo. We are done, people. Now, get a look at that. Beautiful spinach, artichoke, sun-dried tomato pizza. Now, we're gonna put this bad boy back in the oven. Here with your boy as we put this bad boy back in the oven. Magnifico. See y'all later. All right, now that our pizza's in the oven, we need to clean up. I got cheats of cheese everywhere. So I'm gonna clean up right now. After I'm done cleaning up, I'll get back to you. While the pizza, after you're done topping your pizza and making it beautiful and come to life, we're gonna put that back in the oven for about another 20 minutes. It's already cooked halfway, remember, you don't want it to cook all the way, it's already halfway from being 20 minutes in the oven. Give it another 20 minutes, and then I'll be right with y'all to finish Master Priest. Be back in back, Jake. Okay, guys. It's um, now that we're cleaned up and organized and everything's already ready to go. Remember, before 
we go. If you hear that little, it's my air fryer. I'm trying to fry some, some wings on the side. Uh, garlic parmesan wings. So um, we have uh, our pizza in the oven. We've got eight minutes left. Cleaned up everything. Everything's going well and healthy. So right now our pizza's almost done. Eight more minutes. Remember, now I'm going to go over with you guys how you start the process again. If you saw the video in the beginning, we got our ground turkey. It's not bread. Ground turkey on your pizza pan. Flatten it down. Garlic, melted butter, Parmesan cheese. Mix it up. Spread it on your garlic Parmesan. I mean on your on your turkey ground turkey crust. Put it in the oven. 20 minutes. When it's done with the 20 minutes, you pull it out. While it's in the oven, you can get your condiments ready that you need for your pizza. After that, have everything prepped, ready to rock and roll on the side. So when your 20 minutes is up, you put your pizza right here. You go ahead and add your toppings that you want on your pizza. Your healthy choice and what you want to do. Put it in the oven. Another 20 minutes. When the 20 minutes is done, we're about to show you right now the finishing product. Catch you on a bit, man. Peace. All right, guys, I just pulled it out of the oven. Bear with your boy. Bam. Crust pizza, healthy way, with spinach, artichoke, mushrooms. My personal favorite, spinach, baby. Here you go. Voila. Look at that masterpiece. Healthy pizza, healthy way to eat healthy, and delicious. Get a close-up of that. Jay Snicker Squad, man, getting in the kitchen again, doing it big for you guys. Now, with diced onions on top. Moment of truth, cut it, taste me a slice, catch All right guys, here we are, We're looking at the pizza. Now you wanna cut it, you can cut it any way you want. I'm using a pizza cutter, so we're gonna dice a little bit right here. You mainly just wanna try to cut the meat, cause that's what it is. You're cutting the meat, not really cutting your toppings. That's one down the middle, turn it this way. Another down the middle. And it's much easier to cut than crust because it's meat. So it's your choice. One right here. Bam. One right here. Bam. One right here. Bam. And one right here. Bam. And one right there. Now we have our pizza cut. Moment of truth. I'm about to try this bad boy out. We have it diced. We got a little slice. Ooh, cheesy baby. Looks like a pizza. Smells like a pizza. It is a pizza. All right, and my cheese. And bon appetito. Amazing. Y'all get y'all get the kitchen. Come at the bottom. Make your own healthy turkey ground turkey pizza. Let me know what are your ingredients you want to use, and we'll check this video out together. And y'all are ready to send me your video. Come at the bottom. Tell me your pizzas you use. Tell me your meat you use. Ground turkey, extra lean turkey. What are your toppings? Let me know what y'all interested in. What creative pizza y'all can come up with? This is your boy Jay Snicker Squad in the kitchen. Ground turkey. Healthy spinach artichoke sun-dried tomato mozzarella pizza. Catch y'all later, man. Peace.